Okay, we are going to talk about starvation mode. Now, starvation mode has many different interpretations. Generally speaking, when someone discusses it with me, it is when they are struggling to continue to lose weight. Perhaps they've been dieting, their body weight's been going down, maybe they've hit a plateau, and they believe their body has entered this state called starvation mode. Now, some people have got even more extreme theories than this, where they believe that as soon as you reduce calories, your body enters starvation mode and it holds on to body fat as some kind of survival mechanism. I've genuinely heard personal trainers say that if you reduce calories, your body weight won't go down because starvation mode kicks in. Therefore, calorie reduction won't cause weight loss. Now, I have an issue with this because they are telling people who are overweight that they're not allowed to reduce calories if they want to lose weight. Now, here's the thing. Dieting can be difficult, and the more extreme you push it, the more difficult it can be. So if you're a bodybuilder trying to step on stage at you know 6% body fat or less, chances are you're going to get hungrier, you're going to get tired, there are going to be hormonal adaptations, there are going to be metabolic adaptations, and you are going to be at a higher chance of weight rebound. Basically, shit gets difficult. And if you call all of that starvation mode, I wouldn't really have any qualms with that because it is something that gets more difficult when you push it hard. But when you tell people that reducing your calories won't result in weight loss because of starvation mode, that's when I have issues. So let's look at this realistically. Now, if reducing your calories cause starvation mode to kick in and reducing your calories a lot cause starvation mode to kick in harder, if we took the biggest extremes of low calorie diets, this is where starvation mode should be doing its work, right? I mean, this is literally like, I'm using the definition that people have given to me. Extreme weight loss diets cause starvation mode to kick in and you won't lose body fat. But what about in countries where there's third world famine? Low calorie diets are forced upon them. They are literally starving for food. Yet low body weight is basically unavoidable. They don't look like they're holding on to body fat, right? Now, if we take a very, very popular weight loss study. Now, back in 1944, there was a study that whether participants were war objectors. They didn't agree with killing, but they wanted to help their country. So they signed up to a study known as the Minnesota Starvation Experiment, or the Biology of Human Starvation. Now, they had their calories cut in half. So imagine going from 3,200 calories to 1,600 calories. It's an extreme diet. So if starvation mode was gonna kick in, now would be the time, because it is extreme. Here are some photos of the participants. I'll put them up, or some of them. Now, it doesn't look like starvation mode has stopped them losing weight, does it? On average, they lost a quarter of their body weight. That's me going from 80 kilos to 60 kilos. That's a huge weight reduction for people who were already lean. Now, why hasn't starvation mode stopped them losing fat? When a low calorie diet is enforced upon people, body weight reduction happens. But what about people that say, well, you know, I've got metabolic damage or, you know, what about this or what about this? Everyone always has a theory why it, it's something that they can't control. And whilst it's uncomfortable to hear, it is very easy to come up with a theory on something you can't control, whereas it might be helpful to take responsibility for that. So there is a, a research study which looked at this specifically. There were participants who even on a 1200 calorie or less diet weren't losing weight. They were resistant to weight loss. So they had their metabolic rates examined, they had their food intake and their exercise habits examined. Now, despite them being resistant to weight loss, that's the term, their metabolic rate was actually within 5% of predicted values. So there was no metabolic damage. However, they were consuming, they had underreported their food intake by 47% and they had over-reported their exercise by 51%. So basically, when a low-calorie diet is enforced upon someone, even in the most extreme caloric restriction, weight loss happens. And in a research study where people believed that they were resistant to weight loss, 
All of their metabolic rates were as expected for their body weight. The problem was they were eating too much and they were exercising too little. So if a low calorie diet and caloric reduction, even to an extreme, is enforced, weight loss happens. The problem is people who think they're on a low calorie diet, but they aren't as low calorie as they thought. That's it. I hope it's been helpful. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. My Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Ben Carpenter Personal Training. My Twitter and Instagram pages are both BDC Carpenter. I love watching.